In today's video, we're going to look at a shocking new report that reveals China's dominance in global science and technology. According to a study by the Australian Strategic Policy Institute, ASPI, China has a stunning lead over the US and other Western countries in 37 out of 44 critical and emerging technologies, including space, energy, AI, nanotechnology and more. The report was produced by ASPI, the Australian Strategic Policy Institute, and was paid for by the US Department of State and the Special Competitive Studies Project, which is funded by Eric Schmidt, who previously worked for Google. ASPI is known from a number of its previous reports to be extremely hawkish on China. Now let's have a look at some key statements from the report. Our research reveals that China has built the foundations to position itself as the world's leading science and technology superpower by establishing a sometimes stunning lead in high impact research across the majority of critical and emerging technology domains. China's global lead extends to 37 out of 44 technologies covering a range of crucial technology fields spanning defense, space, robotics, energy, the environment, biotechnology, artificial intelligence, advanced materials and key quantum technology areas. For some technologies, all of the world's top 10 leading research institutions are based in China and are collectively generating nine times more impact research papers than the second ranked country. Notably, the Chinese Academy of Sciences ranks highly and often first or second across many of the 44 technologies. China's lead is the product of deliberate design and long-term policy planning as repeatedly outlined by Xi Jinping and his predecessors. China's leading research position means that it has set itself up to excel not just in current technological development in almost all sectors, but in future technologies that don't yet exist. The study analysed more than 2 million research papers published between January 2020 and December 2022, and also looked at patent applications by Chinese companies. The study found that China has surpassed the USA in both quantity and quality of high impact research output. Now let's have a look at the tables and see exactly which areas China are leading in. First up is advanced materials and manufacturing. And as you can see, China have a huge lead in this sector. No other country are anywhere close. It's not likely the USA or others will catch up anytime soon. On to artificial intelligence, computing and communications. Again, China have a substantial lead in 7 out of 10 of these categories. However, the three categories that are led by the USA, which are high performance computing, advanced chip design and fabrication, and natural language processing, China are only marginally behind. This is quite an achievement considering all of the chip sanctions the USA has put on China. And the USA is now pushing South Korea, Japan and the Netherlands to impose further sanctions on the export of chip making machinery in order to slow China down. Next up is energy and environment. Yet again, China are dominant in this sector, showing a commanding lead in hydrogen power, supercapacitors and battery technology. And as the table shows, it is likely that China will continue to dominate these sectors in the future, with little chance of the USA or other nations catching up. Quantum. Apart from quantum computing, China leads in three out of four of these disciplines. China has strong research capabilities in photonic sensors, quantum communications, advanced optical communications and post-quantum cryptography. The USA and its Five Eyes allies worry that this means they will have diminished situational awareness for intelligence communities. The West are worried that using these technologies, China's communications will go dark to Western intelligence services, which obviously for China is a good thing. China has built the world's largest quantum communication network and can share encryption keys via quantum communication with satellites and even with moving drones. Now defense, space, robotics and transportation, which for the USA is probably the most concerning area as the USA have always considered their military the most advanced in the world. 
However, looking at the lead China have in advanced aircraft engines and swarming drones, this may no longer be the case. In October 2021, media reported that China had tested a nuclear-capable hypersonic glide vehicle, which su surprised the world. However, China's dominance in the research on advanced aircraft engines, hypersonic, novel metamaterials, coatings and high specification machining processes should have made this less surprising. China's lead in these research fields are the result of a well-planned strategy spanning decades to support the development of hypersonic vehicle test flights. China is also a leader in drone technology, with a greater share of high-impact publications and institutions in drones, swarming and collaborative robots and electronic batteries. Swarming drones which use shared sensor information to improve situational awareness are a game changer in military applications. Currently, the USA or its allies have no defense against hypersonic missiles or swarming drones. We have now seen how China are the dominant player in 85% of these technologies covered by the report. So now let's look into some of the ways China have achieved this. The Chinese government has long prioritized technological advancement, talent research, and emerging strategic industries. China's desire to become a technological superpower can be traced back to the exploitation of China's weaknesses by foreign powers with superior military technology during the century of humiliation. This ambition was enshrined into China's ideology in the concept of self-reliance. In recent decades, China has made huge investments in science, technology, research and development and has made it a core pillar of China's development and innovation strategy. China's leadership sees scientific and technological innovation as the central propelling force for economic and social development. To achieve this, initiatives such as Made in China 2025 and the Dual Circulation Economic Strategy aim to boost China's indigenous innovation and technological self-reliance. The elevation of science and technology to the top of China's national priorities is reflected in the number of officials with technical expertise elected to top government positions during the latest National People's Congress in 2022. China's emphasis on high impact research is reflected in its progress in areas such as manned space flight, quantum information, biomedicine and nuclear power technology. The government's strategic vision for science and technology is expected to continue with a global lead in high impact research supporting future technological and scientific advances. Furthermore, the Chinese government and many Chinese parents understand the importance of education. China has been rapidly increasing the number of STEM graduates in recent years, with the government investing heavily in STEM education. According to the Ministry of Education in China, there were 8.34 million STEM graduates in 2019 accounting for 45.4% of all graduates in China. In the USA, the number of STEM graduates has also been increasing steadily, although not as quickly as in China. According to the National Science Foundation, there were 568,000 STEM bachelor's degree recipients in the USA in 2019, accounting for 34% of all bachelor's degrees awarded. So you can see from these figures that China graduates more than eight times the number of STEM graduates as the USA. And this gap is predicted to grow larger between now and 2030, with estimates suggesting that China will graduate as many as 15 million STEM students by the year 2030. To conclude, we have covered some of the main points of ASPI's critical technology report. And you can see now how China are a world leader in science and technology. I hope that this content helps to silence some of China's critics that continuously say that China copies and steals all of its technology and does not develop anything itself. This is simply not true. Facts are facts. And the report covered in this video indeed shows the facts.
It would be nice to think that the USA and its Western allies would leave China to progress peacefully and cooperate on science and technology for the good of mankind. However, sadly, this is unlikely. Instead, all the USA seems intent on doing is using sanctions, lies and even the threat of war in order to try and keep its hegemony over China in world finance, science and technology. The USA over the past year or so has increased sanctions on China with regards to microchips, hoping this will stop China's development. Yes, it will slow China down. However, it will just make China more determined to become self-reliant in the chip sector. The USA tried a similar tactic a number of years ago when it forbid China to take part in the International Space Station. The result? China now has its own space station, has landed on the dark side of the moon, launched numerous satellites into space and sent a mission to Mars. As I said at the beginning of this video, it was funded by the US State Department. I suspect the US will be surprised and shocked at just how far ahead China are and as a consequence I expect to see even more sanctions placed on China in the near future. As someone who looked up and admired the USA when I was growing up, it's sad to see the US now behaving in this way. As Mike Pompeo, former Secretary of State, famously said, we lie, we cheat and we steal. Very sad indeed.